Hi kids, I hope everybody is fine. So this video is for class 9 student and we will be discussing a very important chapter in physics, reflection of light. Now look carefully. Suppose this is a surface and a beam of light is traveling in this medium. Okay, a beam of light. What is a beam of light? A collection of ray of light. A collection of ray of light is known as beam of light. Yes or no? And what is ray of light? See, the light moves in a particular direction. The direction of the propagation of light is shown by a straight line. That is known as a ray of light. The direction of propagation propagation of light is shown by a straight line is shown by a straight line and that is known as a, a ray of light now when a beam of light strikes a surface then what happens few things will occur a part of light gets reflected in the same medium returns back returns in the same medium and that is known as reflected light that is known as reflected light a part of it is absorbed by the medium this is absorbed you know Ab Absorbed by the medium if the medium is opaque then what happened absorption occur a part of light is transmitted you no know, like this gets transmitted okay transmitted and a part of light is scattered you know scattering when the medium, when the, when the surface is uh, transparent, you know, when the surface is transparent, then this transmission and absorption both occurs. If the, if the surface is transparent, you know, we see scattering of light, the sky appears to be blue. Why? Because of scattering of light. Tyndall effect. These are all due to scattering of light. So these four phenomena can happen. Scattering, transmission, absorption or the light returns in the same medium. So from here we have the definition of reflection of light. Reflection of light. The return of light in the same medium, in the same medium after it strikes a surface after it strikes a surface that is known as my reflection of light okay and it's all because of reflection of light that we can see object around us okay what happens see luminous bodies we can see because they emit light but what about the non-luminous body like this board or the curtains, anything in your house? How can you see them? You cannot see them in the dark. But what happens? See, suppose your eye is over here. Okay. The object is over here. So when light from luminous body falls on these objects, it gets reflected towards our eyes. And then inside the eye, an image of that object is formed. So it's all because of reflection of light that we can see object around us. Got it? Now look carefully. Now, which surface can reflect a majority of the light? The best example of surface which can reflect the maximum amount of light is a plane mirror. Plane mirror. Now, how do you define a plane mirror? Just look. Now, a plane mirror, a 
प्लेन मिरर कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ थिक ग्लास प्लेट दिस इज योर ग्लास प्लेट फ्यू एम एम यू नो फ्यू एम एम थिक दिस इज अ ग्लास प्लेट ठीक है तो वहां पे वन सरफेस is highly polished and the other surface is silvered this surface is silvered which means a coating of silver or mercury is done okay and then again it is covered by an opaque object opaque object to prevent this silvering okay and the inner surface is my reflecting surface this is my reflecting surface okay when light rays enters from the first surface it is strongly reflected strongly reflected by the silvered surface you know this surface the second surface by the second surface almost the entire light is reflected back you know phenomena of reflection takes place i'm not saying 100% but close to it you can see that is our plane mirror you know now reflection is of two types so what is plane mirror understood it's just a glass plate few mm thick one surface is highly polished the other surface is silvered you know and silvered means a layer of silver or mercury and then to uh, cover silvering to protect the silvering surface we have a opaque object over it now now look carefully kinds of reflection kinds of reflection now there are two kinds of reflection depending on the surface on which the beam of light falls suppose a beam of light falls on a highly polished surface you know this is your highly polished surface and a beam of light falls on an irregular surface the page of the book the wall in your room it looks polished but it it is irregular highly polished i am talking about plane mirror so when a ray of light falls on a highly polished surface you know when a beam of light falls in a highly polished surface we will see that this is this this beam of light which falls incident beam of light okay this beam of light they are parallel to each other now after reflection also after reflection also they are parallel reflected beam the reflected beam of light is also parallel this is also parallel see then this kind of reflection is known as regular reflection this happened in plane surface you know highly polished like plane mirror regular reflection and in this what happens the beam of light moves in a particular direction but if you talk about irregular reflection which happens inside this room you know a beam of light strikes the surface suppose the wall of your room this is incident then after reflection the reflected beam of light is not parallel they according to the surface you know obeying the law of reflection we'll see that they are reflected you know so what we see over here it moves in all possible direction not in a particular direction so this is known as irregular or diffused re 
deflection and it's all because of irregular or diffuse reflection that we can see object around us because the light spreads over a wide area the light spreads over a wide area over here it is only in a particular direction particular direction okay so this is the difference between regular reflection and irregular or diffuse reflection now let us see a few important terms related to reflection of light let us see some terms related to reflection of light suppose this is a surface okay a ray of light strikes this surface then this ray of light is known as incident ray the ray of light which strikes the surface remember that is known as incident ray and the point at which it strikes the surface is point of incidence the point on the surface at which the light ray strikes that's your point of incidence now what happened due to reflection the light ray returns in the same medium so this the light ray which returns in the same medium is known as reflected ray now this is your point of incidence suppose a b a was your incident ray a c was your reflected ray now at a which is a point of incidence if you draw a perpendicular on this surface if you draw a perpendicular look carefully then this this is perpendicular this is 90 degree this is 90 degree this is known as normal the perpendicular at the point of incidence on the surface clear now you see there is an angle between the incident ray and the normal denoted by i and i is known as angle of incidence similarly if you see there is an angle between the reflected ray and the normal that i'm denoting with r and that's angle of reflection okay then plane of incidence plane of incidence plane of incidence what is the plane of incidence plane of incidence is the plane containing containing the incident ray the incident ray and the normal that is my plane of incidence at what is plane of reflection in the same fashion plane of reflection the plane plane containing the reflected ray the reflected ray and the normal that is my plane of reflection am i clear incident ray reflected ray this is normal point of incidence angle between incident ray and normal angle of incidence angle between reflected ray and normal angle of reflection plane of incidence containing the incident ray and the normal plane of reflection containing the reflected ray and the normal done so these terms we should know now let us see the most important part of it laws of reflection of light laws of reflection so whenever reflection takes place the ray of light follows two laws the first one again this is your surface okay this is suppose a o oh, this is the incident ray this is the reflected ray ob and o is the point of incidence and this is your on is your normal okay so the first law states that the angle of incidence we just did the angle between the incident ray and the normal and the angle of reflection are equal that is the first law angle of incidence and angle of reflection are equal angle a 
O N in this figure and angle B O N will be equal. That's my first law. Second law. The incident ray, the incident ray, the normal, the reflected ray, the reflected ray at the point of incidence, at the point of incidence lie in the same plane. Lie in, they, they are in the same plane. Lie in the same plane. That's my second law of reflection of light. So whenever reflection happens, these two laws are followed. Okay. And one more thing. See, this is your surface and a ray of light falls at an angle. Not perpendicular to the surface. What happens? This is a special case. What happens? Suppose this is your surface and a ray of light falls perpendicular. Falls perpendicular. Then what happens? The ray of light retraces its path. Retraces it its path goes backward in the same direction. It came from here, it goes back in that path only. Okay, retraces its path. Remember this, very important. But if it's not perpendicular, then it will be reflected like this. Okay, and in this particular case, remember, angle of incidence is what? The angle between the incident and the normal and this is 90 degree which means angle of incidence is 0 degree angle of reflection is also 0 degree in this particular case when the ray of light falls normal it retraces goes back in the same path okay Chab. in this video we'll keep it till here the next part we'll make another video till then take care and be safe and if you like the video do subscribe and share with your friends